In the last video, we talked about layers, and we said that uh, layers were how we did a rough representation of the z-axis or height in OpenStreetMap. We said that if we have two ways, um, we gave the example of a, of a river and a bridge, yeah, I'll draw that bridge, uh, that as long as these two w ways didn't share a node, they weren't routable, but that we could use the layer tag, so layer equals one, to show the, the height difference. And we said that there were uh, f te uh, 11 different layers, uh, zero and up to five and down to negative five. So in, the, and in the, uh, that example, we talked again about this bridge and I wanna focus a little bit on the bridge example and how we would, um, how we would take an existing way. So we're gonna make an existing river and we're gonna make a new we're going to take a road, we're going to make a road here, and we're going to say that this whole road is not the bridge, but we want to say that this area here uh, is where the bridge is. And so how, how we would do that is we need to cut this way uh, into three segments. Uh, the road here, um, so we'll make our one, two, three, our, our, our segment one is just a regular road, segment two is our bridge, and segment three is back to regular road. So I'll just. So how would we do that? Well, if you go back, we, we said that ways were ordered collections of nodes. So if we draw this way out, uh, what we see is a set of nodes. And we said that every uh, node has an ID and every way has an ID. So let's. Let's number these uh, nodes here. We'll say this is node 100, 101, 102, 103, 104, 105, and 106. And that this collection here, this uh, ordered collection of nodes, represents uh, way five. And so that's the ID number of the way is five. And the ID number of each of these nodes is um, 1 through 106. So let's say that the bridge is this area here between 102 and 103. So let's say this is our bridge. Well first of all let's let's talk about how this road would be tagged normally. So let's say it was a primary road, a large road, so we would say highway equals uh, primary. And let's say the name of the road um, is uh, Main Street. Now in this case this entire segment would have this because it would be associated with Way 5. So what we're going to do is whatever editor you're using you can usually cut uh, or unjoin one node. Uh, we can cut this node from the rest of the way so you would split the node here and what should happen normally is that these tags uh, would carry over onto the split area. So we would split it here, we would split it here, and we would get a new, all these ways, uh, even though they would have a new ID, so let's say this is way six and way seven, uh, would all have the same tags. And so what we would have to do for way six is we would, um, we would change the highway equals primary, we would get rid of that, and we would change the name to the strip this the bridge so we would say it's uh, let's say it's the Main Street bridge uh, we would and the tag would have to be added so bridge equals yes and as I said before we have to give it a layer so layer equals one so as long as we do that and we we don't apply these new tags to our way seven we're good to go um, we should also say that if, if the uh, bridge looked more like this, and so I'll draw this over, got our river here, got our road, our road doesn't have, doesn't, um, here, well, let's draw it first, and, le and let's say that the bridge was actually here, we would have to add some new some new nodes. So let's let's just draw that out. Not um, on the the 
the illustration, but just write it out um, as the computer might see it. So we would have way 5 would contain nodes 100, 101, 102, 103, 104, 105, 06. And um, so this is uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, right? So uh, we need to have one more. So 100, 101, 102, 103, 104, 105, and 106. So the, what we would have to do is we'd first have to add two nodes where the bridge was. So we would add a node here, and that would be node uh, 107, and we would add another node here, 108. Now, in this case, the ID numbers of the nodes don't matter for the shape. So they're going to be inserted right here. So we would have uh, 107, 108, and then to 104. So it would be, uh, again, just a little bit easier to illustrate 103, 107, 108, 104. So we can do that. We can insert these nodes. Um, and again, the ID number doesn't matter when we're talking about the shape. Let's just do one more example, um, which is uh, our tunnel example. So let's bring our bridge back. I'm sorry, our river back. And we'll have our road. And a tunnel often has a cutting. So a cutting is uh, where the ground starts to go down under, you know, underneath ground level, preparing for the tunnel. Even the tunnel is usually a small area, say here. Right, but the cutting may be out to there. So we would say the cutting is there, right? Whereas this is the tunnel. Um, and so let's let's go through this one more time. Uh, we've got our road. Uh, let's call it um, oh I don't know um, Second Street. So name. Actually, just call it Second Avenue, E, and uh, Highway equals Primary, and it has. And I'm not going to draw it out. It has um, uh, nodes uh, 100, 101, 102, 10. 104, 105, and 106. And what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to add a few new nodes uh, in the middle here. So let's say that uh, at around 102 we add 107 uh, and 108. Um, and then let's say this, and this would be our cutting. So we would say uh, we would get rid of our. Um, well, we could, we'll keep our highway, but we'll add cutting. I'll just make that a little bit easier to see. Equals yes for our tunnel, which will be between which which we'll have as a new way here. So we'll make um, so this will be five. Our way six will actually sorry. Our way six will be our cutting. So that will be 107 and 108. So that will be uh, way 6. Way 7 will be our tunnel. So it won't have the highway uh, primary anymore. It'll just have tunnel equals yes. And uh, layer equals negative 1. And also this cutting should probably also have um, layer equals negative one. Although this is um, not strictly necessary unless something is going uh, over the, actually this is not necessary because nothing should go over this cutting. Um, so only here where the where there's an intersection of the, the objects, we've got our layer equals negative one, um, which will be nodes 103 and 104. Four. And we'll have a way eight will be uh, some two, two new nodes. We'll call that 109 and 110. 
Um, and then we're back to our second avenue and our uh, highway equals primary and uh, again we'll and then way nine is uh, one of is I as nodes 105 and 106 etc so in this case we've had to cut this uh, one way uh, into one two three four different ways so we've got our road we've cut we've made a cutting way we've made a tunnel way um, we made another cutting way and then back to the regular road now when you're doing this for real the uh, editor will usually take care of transferring all the tags from one way to the other when you cut it so you won't have to re-tag um, the cuttings and you won't have to re-tag the uh, the remaining road but you will have to to change any of the tags that aren't appropriate so the highway tag will need to go away for the tunnel and the name will have to be changed um, but I just I just wanted to go through the manual process of doing a way cutting so that you see how the computer represents it uh, so that when you work with the editor it's a little bit more clear all right that was a lot to go through but I think we got through it so see you in the next video